Good morning. Welcome to Current Scam World. In this video, we will learn fuel cells. What are fuel cells? Hydrogen, oxygen fuel cells. Types of fuel cells, and how the fuel cells are constructed. The experimental setup for fuel cells and uses. Okay, what is a fuel cell? It is nothing but a galvanic cell that converts chemical energy into electrical energy. Chemical potential into electrical energy. Types of fuel cell. There are two major types of fuel cells. They are hydrogen oxygen fuel cell and natural gas biogas oxygen fuel cell. In the hydrogen oxygen fuel cell, there are two types. One, PEM fuel cell. PEM refers to proton exchange membrane or polymer electrolyte membrane. The second one is alkaline fuel cell. This fuel cell was used by NASA uh, to power satellites. The second one is natural gas oxygen fuel cell. Instead of hydrogen, natural gas, for example, methane is used. Okay. What are the characteristics of characteristics and uses of fuel cell? It is a green fuel, pollution free since water is formed as the product. Fuel cell has been used by NASA to generate power for their satellites. Recently, fuel cells are used to car, run car, buses, trains, trucks, especially hydrogen, oxygen fuel cells. Okay, let us now see the construction of hydrogen, oxygen, oxygen PEM fuel cell. This is the experimental setup. This is the construction of fuel cell, hydrogen, oxygen fuel cell. It is made up of porous graphite anode, porous graphite cathode in the middle, proton exchange membrane in the middle, full it is made up of proton exchange membrane and load. Okay. The porous graphite electrodes the porous graphite anode cathode electrodes are embedded with the, or impregnated with the platinum or palladium or any metal oxides as catalyst. Okay. Hydrogen gas is injected through this. Oxygen gas is injected through this and hydrogen the unused hydrogen gas is collected and reused. Similarly, the unused oxygen gas is collected and reused. Okay. When hydrogen gas is allowed to pass through the porous graphite electrode, okay, and hydrogen molecules are diffused through the graphite porous graphite anode where it gets oxidized. It gets oxidized to give H plus ion and electrons. Okay. Okay. At the anode, hydrogen gas molecules are oxidized to give H plus ion plus electrons. The electrons produced at the anode flows through the circuit okay flows through the circuit through the bulb and load to generate electricity okay now the h plus ions formed at the anode diffuses through the pem membrane proton exchange membrane towards cathode at cathode the oxygen gas at cathode oxygen gas in the presence of h plus ion reduced to water okay let us see the electrode reactions to understand this these are the electrode reactions at anode at anode what happens 
hydrogen gas molecules are oxidized to give H plus ion and electrons. Okay. And at cathode, at cathode, oxygen gas, oxygen molecules are reduced to water in the presence of H plus ion. The presence of H plus ions. Thank you for watching. Please share and subscribe. Thank you again.